not to them. That. It's to the pimp. <laughs> he, he, he put in the parentheses to them. What? He's a brother to Man. them. Even wow. to the pimp or to the, to the girls, it is the Quran, Allah. Allah command Muslim in the Quran. It's okay. I'm going to forgive them or forgive you. I'm going to forgive whoever if you just have a small house of prostitution. You know, make a yeah. good deal with people. Run a business of prostitution in the Quran. But what we learn here, the slaves, if you feel they can stand on their own, give them a book of freedom. Let them go free. No, 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 no. Uh, you can also run a business, a uh, prostitution business, and make some money out of them. And Allah's forgiven. Um, God have mercy. God have mercy on the wow. mentality of Muslims who believe this to be the word of God. We got a caller, Osama, just one caller. Okay. But can I ask you in that last passage uh, in the Arabic, the last phrase there, بعد قراحين قراحين بعد إكراههن يكره أوكي آه أوكي هن yeah. Yeah. It, it could be translated correctly that God will forgive them because they are the one who commits sin. A Muslim, that case a Muslim does not commit sin for having a house of prostitution. Okay. He's not sleeping with them. He's just making money. So, he, so he, <laughs> it is right in that case he'll forgive the women. But is it not sin for a man to force a slave to have sex with some guy? Yeah. Well, what is more sin? The girl she is forced to have sex or the man who forced her to have sex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I believe deep in my yeah. heart, if I, if, 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 if I found a house in America today, yeah. a guy having three girls and forcing them to have sex, I will not punish the three girls for sure. I'm going to punish the man. Yeah. Forcing them, right. Who yeah. is abusing the three mm -hmm. ladies right. or whatever number of ladies, and, and, yeah. and, 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 and uh, that's sexual abuse. Right, yeah. exactly, exactly. Get your phone, brother. Okay, let's take that <laughs> caller right now. Welcome you on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Uh, uh, peace of Christ to you guys. Uh, this is uh, Christian with you. Yes, Christian, uh, go ahead. I'm, uh, you know, I'm following you. Uh, you know, before, we need to add more uh, information, uh, like, uh, to the de like to give details. We have to start saying first where and what is the sources of a slavery in Islam, because some of the African-Americans have been told that the slavery happened because of war. Those people, they attacked the Prophet. And you know what? Uh, he uh, overcome by victory, and he became victorious. And uh, what he will do with them? Like you know, even they will make it like as a charity. Mm -hmm. Kill the men. Now the women they will live alone. Who is going to protect them? You see, they are doing them a favor. Yeah, so right. The feeling. We need to make more clear that mm -hmm. it's not really what they say, because the source of Islam or the source of the slavery in Islam is not only by war. As an example, Muhammad himself had received a gift as a slave. Married the Copt and her cousin and many, and he never said no, and he never freed them. You know, if Muhammad, if Islam is about freedom, freeing the slave, why he accept? Imagine somebody knock at your door, and he put a box in front of you, and you open it, and you have, uh, you know, you have a bunch of slaves inside it, and you say, oh, thank you very much, and you keep it inside your house, and you enslave them for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. So why Muhammad did not free those poor people who they have no, no guilt, no crime, except somebody send them to Muhammad as a gift? And Muhammad himself was sleeping with Mary the cook, which means he accepted the gift and he was abusing the gift. And her cousin one day, you know, when Mary the cook, she got a breath net, uh, he heard that uh, Mary the cook, she is sleeping with her cousin, which was a slave, uh, was sent with her as a gift too. Yeah. So uh, he sent Ali to kill uh, uh, Abu Juraj, which is her cousin. And uh, uh, with, you know, uh, we knew in Islam you have to have witnesses. You have to, without investigation or anything, he just go and kill him. So Ali, you know, he, like this guy, he was lucky. When he went there, you know, uh, uh, he, he took his sword out. He wanna kill him. Abu Juraj, he said, "How you accuse me with such a thing when I don't have a private car?" You know. Um, yeah, he, um, was, um, he was. 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 He uh, if we go, I I'm going to give you the reference. Uh, sure. I hope uh, Brother Sama will take them. Uh, uh, book number 11, Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number 2126. This is, uh, uh, sorry, this is uh, Sunan Abu, uh, Abu Dawood, not Sahih mm -hmm. al Bukhari. Uh, the story in here about a man, he, uh, uh, he did marry a virgin Muslim woman and she is a free. Mm -hmm. And after he did marry her, he found out that she is pregnant which means it's not him. So what Muhammad, he said to him, and I'm going to read the translation of the Muslims as it is. He said, uh, uh, let me read the hadith as it is. I married a virgin woman in her veil. When I entered upon her, I found her, uh, I found her pregnant. 
I mentioned this to the Prophet, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, uh, she will get uh, the dower, for you made her vagina awful for you. The child will be your slave. Now in here, look at this justice. And by the way, she will be punished too, but still he will pay her because this is wages for sex, you know? Consider her the same as a prostitute. So in here, the slave, the child who is going to be born of this woman, who never been a son of a slave, who never been doing any crime, just because he's a son of adultery, is going to be the slave of the new husband. Now, mm. I wanna, do you think this is justice? How you can accept such a rule that, you know, if, if, this, is, if this is what we will protect today, you know, maybe, maybe we'll have millions of people, uh, you know, uh, slaves, you know? Like if everybody, uh, uh, if every woman she is having a child out of marriage, her son will be a slave, we will have tons of millions maybe, you know? Mm. There's a lot of people having sex out of marriage and they are having kids from those. So all of those, according to the Islamic law, they are going to turn to be slaves for sale. And now the new husband, he has the right to sell him, to buy him, etc. Whatever you and want, yes, indeed. Thing. Well, well, CP, yeah. th this, this would be a, a great argument for Anjum Chaudhry uh, when he tries to tell us again how we need Sharia law here in the West. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> He didn't mention uh, that, by the way, CP. Thank you so much for calling, dear brother. Uh, yes. thing, I just wanted to address one thing, yeah. which he said, uh, which I want to try to correct. And I think that uh, many uh, in the uh, uh, Islamic world mm. don't realize this. And that is that when it comes down to African Americans, especially those who um, uh, were in the nation or in the nation of Islam, yes. that uh, it's not like they, uh, that's not the argument that's used, used yeah. Yeah. that the only way Islam got slaves was through war. Yeah. The argument is, actually, if we look at the nation of Islam and what Elijah Muhammad taught, yeah. Uh, that racism was so bl bad yeah. till there was the attempt for black Americans not to even be black. Remember, yeah. first it was, you, you know, colored, don't call us colored, don't call us black. Yeah. And uh, Wallace Farr, 1930, yeah. followed by Elijah Muhammad, came and said that, well, uh, uh, Negroes, you're not Negroes anyway. Yeah. You're of the lost found tribe of Shabazz. He invented yeah. a tribe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So therefore, with that, you know, he escaped the whole. So no sense in looking at any history. Yeah. Say, the problem that you had, you were actually some kind of Arab tribe in the first place. Yeah. So yeah. the whole issue of Islamic slavery was totally ignored. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the biggest myth believed yeah. and still uh, in, supported in, in America, by the Absolute. nation of Islam. Absolutely. And uh, so therefore, uh, you start with European slavery. And all of that that you're presenting has not even been presented. And this is what uh, the caller uh, doesn't recognize. Yeah. That hasn't been presented yeah. to the typical African American in the West, yeah. especially those influenced by uh, the Nation of Islam. Absolutely. And, yeah. point. So much deception. Th th yeah. Thank you, CP. As always, we appreciate your call and your comments. God bless you, dear brother. Uh, you know what? Uh, we've already gone 35 minutes without a break. Let me just uh, remind you all, hey, this is the last night, actually, of the Jesus or Muhammad Marathon. As you can see on your screen, Unfortunately, we've fallen rather short of our goal. And, uh, of course, we're going to continue to ask you to uh, bless us with your prayers as well as your donations as God would guide you. But, uh, you know, we, we really need to see this channel. You know, everyone who calls, they say, yes, this English channel is, is a wonderful thing and, and you really need it and, and we support it and we'll pray for you. And that's great. And some of those people, maybe they don't have money. I've never heard anybody say, no, it's a wrong idea, it's not time, you know, there's not much <laughs> no threat. No objection to, the, to this channel. Yeah, right, yeah. Yes. But, you know, there's an old song, put your money where your mouth is. Yes. Right? Yes. And, and, right. and, and that doesn't, that's not just to you, dear viewers. That's to everyone out there uh, who knows about us and knows about this channel, whoever they may be. Please, please pray. Please call right now, 248-416-1300 and give. As a matter of fact, I'd like to take just a short break, actually. We'll take a short break. And uh, we'll be right back after this with a little more from Brother Osama. And then we're going to uh, pick Pastor Emery Moss's brain as well on this subject. And we look forward to hearing from you, dear callers. I know we've got maybe one or two on the line. Be patient. We'll get to you after this break. If you enjoy watching this live show, would you like a copy of it on DVD so you can share it with your friends? For a small donation of just $25, you can own the requested DVD version of this live show. Please go to www.abnsat.com and go to Shop ABN. And then pick the live show you would like to order. You can also email us at abn at abnsat.com to request it. Your donation is tax deductible and your support to ABN ministry is appreciated. God bless you for your support.
The Word of God tells us to go into all the nations and make disciples, and that's the goal of ABN. We're launching a new channel, an English-speaking channel, first in Europe and the Middle East, then North America and Australia, to English-speaking people. We want to create a media outlet where the truth of Christianity exposes the deception and lies of Islam, and we're asking for your help. Would you prayerfully consider making a donation, whether it's $25, $50, or even $100? We ask for your help in spreading the word of God to all nations. Thank you. good like a medicine. Praise <laughs> God forevermore. You know, the wonderful thing, I just going to have to sing. Y'all ready to sing? Well, oh, no. Sing. What are we going to sing? <laughs> no. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, I feel like I think we're we'll singing next break. <laughs> next break. <laughs> when the program's over. Next break, we'll sing. <laughs> that caller's going to send you some money during the break. Maybe that's, you know, I say this and I'll let you go, brother. So I have yeah. a dear friend out there. His, uh, his name is Hans. And uh, he's, he's a dear brother. Good Christian brother. <laughs> And he's, he watches our shows. He's on every call, you know. Mm. And he said, I got the best way you can raise money. I said, how's that? He said, you just keep singing. <laughs> and you tell him, you say, only way you're going to stop is if they give enough money. <laughs> <laughs> is this how bad is your voice, man? <laughs> maybe they, but work. maybe they turn the TV, TV stay off and then we'll, we'll lose the performance. The, 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 the Muslims <laughs> might even send in money. <laughs> go ahead. Do keep singing. <laughs> All right. We go back to uh, what the Quran teach, what Islam teach about uh, uh, slavery. And obviously we got you a good verse here from chapter 24, verse 50. One more, one more verse in the Quran where we see uh, the, ex the exist of the word what your right hand possesses. Oh, you who have believed, let those whom your right hand possess and those who have not come to the age of puberty ask permission of you three times. What are you talking about here, Brother David? Uh, Brother David, <laughs> where does the David come from? Where is David? David, David <laughs> Strong as David. Uh, David Wood, right? Brother Joseph. Uh, the three times during the day, in the, in the normal day of life, when kids or slaves yeah. in the house. Yeah. Come to your house, you have to knock on the door. To make sure if uh, the man with his, with his wife or with another woman, they, they have some privacy. What so, verse is that again? Chapter 24 and verse 58. 58. So here is the normal way of life. The normal way of life in the household of the Muslim, they have slaves. They live with them all day long, uh, all night long, all week long, all month long. They have slaves in their house. One of the way, slaves and children, they knock at the door before they come three times during the day. I would like to move to the next verse, chapter 30 and verse 28 in the Quran, 30, 28. Allah said, He sets forth a parable to you from among yourselves. Do you have from what your right hand possessed? Of partners in what we provided you, so you are alike in it. You fear them as you fear yourselves. Likewise, we expound on the verses to an understanding people. It's another indication, internal verse of the Quran. Men who have slaves, those who own the slave and concubine, by right hand possessed. And uh, I'll take you to now to 66 and uh, verse 1, which is, by the way, what uh, our friend Christian uh, was calling a few minutes ago, talking about Mary, the Coptic woman. And you notice, notice when you read these verses in any of the English translation, not mine, any other English translation, you will not even know what he's talking about. Hmm. Literally, I'm going to play you the verse, and I'm going to tell you the story behind the verse. And uh, let's... let's... That we do have a call. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Here oh, you prophet, why do you forbid what Allah has made lawful to you, seeking to please your wives? 
and Allah is forgiving, merciful. 